All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Neil Peshai, Bashim, and Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salute to Shalom to all you brothers out there that's pushing this word, truth, and sincerity. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to bring out some definitions and bring out some precepts and flow through the spirit. This is legendary. It says, of, described in, are based on legends. Remarkable enough to be famous, very well known. It's going to immortal. It says, exempt from death, the immortal gods, exempt from oblivion, imperishable, immortal fame, connected with or related to immortality. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 15. For righteousness is immortal. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's that whosoever is talking about Israel, the elect. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And that's talking about Israel, our people. Because our people are scattered amongst all nations. So just because you might look like a, a heathen doesn't mean, mean you're a heathen. Your bloodline can go back to Israel. And that's how the Lord made this play out. Because this is a spiritual thing. You know, and, and, and if you really pay attention to the spirit, you can see certain people are special, especially beginning with the elect, the brother that's preaching this truth. People know that we're a special people because the Lord said he's going to create us to be a holy people, a special people above all people. So pe even people in the world, average people in the world, they see, you know, some people might look at you and they might, you know, you can feel them staring at you kind of a little bit like, hey, it's something I'm about to do. That's the spirit because they they know it's something about you, even though the average person might not see it. They see it, but they might not acknowledge it how they're supposed to. But real soon they will, because it's all prophecy. First Kings chapter 10, verse 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very train, uh, so like a very great train with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom in the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spear in her. And she said to the king, it was a true report that I heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. I'll bet I believe not the words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it, and behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I have heard. Right, so it's going to come to a point where people will see it, but they're going to really absorb it and feel it when they, when they, you know, when the Lord increases it. That's the best way I could put it right now. It says, Happy are th thy men, happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God which delighteth in thee to set thee on the thrones of Israel because the Lord loved Israel forever 
Therefore made he the, thy, the king to do judgment and justice. So with that, I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all praise to you. How will my shame never shine? My shame will go A hey, long verse is edifying real quick. The fame is coming, but coming brothers. Is he already here, but it's really going to increase. So, Kwame Shalom, Shalom.